everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what's in my hospital bag for baby number two. So I am currently 37 weeks and three days when I am filming this. You guys are going to see this like in a while because I have some other videos planned before this one goes up but of course I want to film it before I pack my hospital bag and I really need to pack my hospital bag like yesterday so I have my itsy ritzy bag right here this i got for christmas from my mother-in-law so i was so excited this is really something i really really wanted this time around it was the pink itsy ritzy bag since i am having a girl this time and it's huge i love this diaper bag it's gigantic there are so many compartments in it so it's going to be perfect for a toddler and a baby to fit everything in here but of course i want to use it for my hospital bag as well so i had experimented because i thought i was going to be able to fit everything in that bag but I'm not going to be able to. So what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of Emery's stuff in this bag and then I'm going to pack my stuff and then Connor packs his stuff. I don't pack it for him so he'll pack his stuff but we're going to put mine and his stuff in one like little suitcase which I'll put a clip of the suitcase in here. It's small but yeah that is all that I, the, I'm bringing the two bags and that is it. So I will share with you guys what I have to go to the hospital. I'll share my stuff first and then hers because I feel like hers is more fun. So first of all, I have a coming home outfit, of course. So with Ryder, I had brought certain things that I was literally wearing when I was pregnant and then like after giving birth they weren't comfortable for me anymore so I actually had to go home in pajama pants with him. So I made sure to get some sweatpants and I got them a size up so that I would be comfy but I got these from Target and they're just like regular sweatpants not maternity or anything. And then I have this shirt right here. It says mama. I'm pretty sure it's a maternity shirt but I'll probably even wear it afterwards because it's really cute and you like can't tell it's a maternity shirt. It doesn't have like the like I don't know what it's called but the things on the side that <laughs> help it stretch it doesn't have that so it just looks like a t-shirt and I really like it. So this is what I am going to be coming home in and I will have everything linked down below in the description box for you guys in case you want to get them. And then I brought three pajamas because, of course, you don't know if you're going to get spit up or pee or poop or, you know, things from birth on you at all. So I brought this nightgown. I had it with a writer. It's a maternity nightgown. And then I have this little pajama set. It is also maternity that I had from Ryder maternity slash nursing which is a really big thing that I need is to have access so those all have the like little um clips for nursing and then I have this pajama set which they are not maternity or anything but it's a button up and it's like it's a size up so I will have room and it's shorts in case it's warm or I'm warm. Usually hospitals are cold, but I know with Ryder, I was really hot after like giving birth and everything. Okay, and then I have one nursing bra, so I need to pack another one, but I don't have very many because I had to size up from ones that I previously had with Ryder. So most of them are like smaller, so I kind of like need to wear some of them. So I have another one that was either white or tan and I can't find it anywhere, but I'll also like wear one coming in obviously, but I mean, I'll be taking that off. 
probably after giving birth or before not really sure I don't remember what I did with Ryder honestly but that is all the like clothes that I had packed other than a little matching thing for me and Emery and I'll show you guys that after I show you like everything else so I have this little bag here with all of my like little toiletries so I have deodorant of course and then I have this bag. This is like my travel bag, I guess. I already had all of this stuff, but just shampoo, conditioner, um, a body wash. I have a perfume in here, which I'm not going to be using, but, um, and then contact solution. And then I also have a hair tie and a scrunchie in case I need those. I had Q-tips in here already, so that'll be good after like I take a shower and stuff. I have a disposable, or I have a toothbrush, but I'll get rid of it after the hospital. I bought it specifically for the hospital. And then I have a little travel toothpaste and I have a chapstick, of course. I don't know oh, what it is about giving birth or being in the hospital, but your lips get super duper chapped. So this is always something that I recommend to people if they're forgetting it. And then I have this Bamboobies nipple balm for breastfeeding. I have this for Emery, but I didn't have like a bag for her. So just a little nail file in case her nails are like super long in the hospital. Otherwise, I'll wait until we get home. And then I have some disposable nursing pads. And then I have these reusable nursing pads from Bamboobies that I think I'll want to use because they're super duper soft. I'm going to put this all back in here. Okay, I had to readjust how I was sitting because it was hurting my pelvic bones really bad but I also have a brush I just couldn't fit it in that bag obviously and I have one long charging cord just because I don't think me and Connor like both need one but I got one of those I have some flip flops that I just bought for the shower that I will throw away afterwards I just got these from Walmart they were three dollars so I can just throw them away and then I also have these little house slippers just to wear around the hospital room so I don't have to wear the socks or anything. And then a couple of postpartum things that I have. I am bringing my Frida Mom Perry bottle that I got. I know they give you one in the hospital, but I thought to bring this one just because it seems to be easier than the one that they give you in the hospital so I will use it and then I also have these after ease drops from um, wish garden Let's see if I can I have never tried these before, but I've seen a lot of people say that they helped with their afterbirth pains. You just take a like dropper, two to four droppers full in water and you repeat as you need. So it's an herbal dietary supplement, so it's natural. So I'm going to try it out and see if it helps at all. And then I did see someone recently say it doesn't really like taste really good putting it in the water. So to bring like a drink mix to put in it. So I got a strawberry lemonade like crystal light drops to <laughs> go in there too. And then I have my belly binder here. That I had back from Ryder but I highly recommend getting a belly binder after giving birth I'm going to wear this like right away in the hospital I did not have one of these right away with Ryder and I remember going home after giving birth and like walking around like I went a day or two and I was just like 
I feel like my insides are moving around and I don't like it. So then I have thought about the belly binder then and sent, I don't remember who, I don't remember if it was my mom and dad or if it was Connor's mom and dad that went, but I remember that they went to Target and they got it for me and then I started using it after that and felt a lot better. So I highly recommend getting a belly binder and I will be wearing it. And then I also have these Silverette Nursing, here, if it'll focus, it's like bright. There we go. These Silverette Nursing Cups. So they look like this. But um, Silverette reached out to me on Instagram and was nice enough to send me these to try out. I've never heard them before and I was actually going to buy them because I had seen a couple people on Facebook that I know talking about them and that they were like worked really good. So all you do is after breastfeeding you leave a little bit of the milk or colostrum and you put the cup on and then you just put your bra. You can put the nursing pads on the outside of the cup if you want to and it's just supposed to help. You're not supposed to use like the, um, like I have the Bamboo Bees nipple balm. You're not supposed to use that or you're not supposed to use like um, any lanolin or anything like that with it. You're just supposed to use this and the uh, breast milk. So I'm going to try these out and then if they don't work, I'll have the nipple balm because I did really like that with Red or Two, but I am excited to try these to see if they work any better. Connor is calling me. <laughs> okay, had to take a little intermission. Connor took Ryder to go eat and they were going to go do something fun today. Just them two to spend some time together before Emery gets here. But little man has been crying for mommy, I guess. So they're coming home and going to try it another day or maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to be a little warmer so he might take him to the beach or something. But Okay, that is all that I have for myself, and then now we can get into everything that's like more fun and for Emery, but I also do have the boppy cover, or the boppy pillow, of course, so a lot of people, some people say it's not useful to bring to the hospital, some people say it's due. I thought it was really useful with Ryder, especially because, you know, I was in pain, so I liked having the pillow. Um, while feeding him and with him being so little, I didn't have to worry about holding him and feeding because it's a lot of, it's a lot more work in the beginning. Obviously you have to hold their head and everything else. So I enjoy bringing the bobby pillow. So I am going to bring that. And then I have this. So it's folded up right now, but this is the Caden Lane robe. This is in the Ella Dusty Rose, I believe is what it's called. Like I said, I'll have everything linked below, but I actually had this from whenever I had Ryder. So I used this with Ryder and I used like a blue swaddle with him. I don't think I ever got a picture of me and him like with the robe and him in the swaddle, but I had gotten that. Connor actually got me that robe for Mother's Day right before I had Ryder. But so since I had that and they still have the print, I got Emery the knotted gown that matches it so we can get some cute pictures in the hospital. I also really like the gown has like the built in mitts. So that'll be nice too if her fingernails are long because a lot of the times when they come out their fingernails are really long. And then it also comes with this really cute hat. I'm probably going to put a bow on her for a picture slash I have something else <laughs> that goes with it also instead of this hat. But also, um, this is going to be like her name announcement or her birth announcement. You guys already know her name. This is going to be her birth announcement um, outfit. 
and I'll show you guys like the little setup I'm gonna do for that in a minute okay I also like not as much fun stuff I do have some diapers they give you diapers obviously but I have them just in case I did the same thing with writer and the wipes which I also have the itsy ritzy like wipes case I love it I think it's so cute I also have the pacifier pocket too I just don't have it on here right now but I love all this stuff and it like all matching they also have like a diaper um like a a stroller caddy thing I don't know why I said diaper a stroller caddy thing that ha you can put like your stuff in or some of their stuff in that's the same material I had just gotten a Disneyland one but I'm kind of tempted to get that to match too just because I think it's so cute but yeah um, surprisingly I fit a new pack of wipes in here even I didn't think I was gonna be able to but I did Okay, so I have three sleepers for her. I just have this really cute pink and white one. Just newborn. And then I have this Thank Heaven for Little Girls one. Now, a writer, whenever he was born, had the a Thank Heaven for Little Boys one. And that's what he came home in and also had his pictures in the hospital in. I'm not exactly sure if they're still, like, doing that, you know, with COVID and everything. I'm not sure if they'll do the, um, like, hospital photos, but we'll be taking some, obviously. And then I just have this really cute. Can you see it? Is it going <laughs> to... It's just a pink and blue sleeper, I think. Both of uh, the Thank Heaven for Little Girls and the pink and blue one are Little Me. I love Little Me. I love their stuff. I think it is so cute. And then I have two burp cloths. Um, I have this breastfeeding cover right here. It's a it's a milk snob cover but it's got the princesses on it I love it so much my mamma got me this for Christmas it was a one of my requests it is so cute it has Aurora on it of course Sleeping Beauty Cinderella Belle and Tiana so I am so, oh and Ariel she's one of my favorites so I am very excited about this but I have this so I can cover her car seat whenever we're leaving the hospital and then I have her a brush of course just like this cute little Minnie Mouse brush because I came out with a lot of hair Ryder did not have a lot of hair so we did not need a brush for him but when I did the 3D ultrasound for her at like 28 weeks, she already had enough hair that you could like see it move. So definitely think she's going to come out with a head full of hair. Okay, what else? I have, I have this cute little bag that Connor's mom got me <laughs> for Christmas, but I decided to put binkies in it. So I have these little binky clips from Ryan and Rose pink and white and then so I have Ryder took man pacifiers so I did get these cute little matte ma'am pacifiers in case she doesn't take these which I have I got the um the set from Ryan and Rose let's see yeah these are what I got. So I got the set and girl and it comes with all five of the different um, pacifiers that they can use. So I'm bringing them all to see which one she likes. And then this one, this purple one right here, if it'll focus. <laughs> it is a lot like the ma'am pacifiers so I also went ahead and bought it in pink because she has a lot of pink stuff so I think like if she would take that one too then I wanted to have the pink one but these colors are super duper cute this is the girl kit is what it's literally called girl but I'm excited. I so hope she takes these Ryan and Rose pacifiers because they're adorable 
And once I know what she takes, I'm going to be buying a lot of them in all kinds of different colors to match all of her outfits. Okay, I also, I have a blanket for her in case whenever we're leaving it is cold and this is just like, you know, going to be her, you know, blanket for whenever it's cold in general. I got that from Target. I think it was super cute. Then I have, okay, I'll show you this. So I have, this is from Caden Lane. It is a crib sheet set. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this crib sheet in the little um, bassinet that they have for them after they're born that they sleep in in the hospital. So, I'm going to put this down on it and then I will lay her down in the little Caden Lane nightgown. I thought it like looked really cute together. So, I'm bringing this to do that. And then I'm going to put this little bow on her, this cute little pink bow. I got it from Amazon. It took me forever to figure out which bow I was going to use. But again, I think that looks really cute. I'm going to turn this down a little. Maybe that will help. It's not even that bright. It's on two. But maybe that helped. And then what made me decide the light pink bow is because it basically matches the crib sheet. So I will have that whenever for her little birth announcement. And then I have a little sign, a birth announcement sign that I'll show you. But I think that will be like a cute little setup, which is why I'm bringing the sheet. It's a little bit extra, I know. But... <laughs> So this is the little name sign that I got, or it's the name sign, but it's like a birth announcement. So you put their weight, the date, the time, length, all of that good stuff. I thought it was really cute and it goes with her room really well. So I'll probably end up putting it up like on her shelves in her room. If you guys have not seen her nursery reveal yet, I'll leave it down in the description box and a card for it so you guys can see her full room. But this will look really cute like in here. And then I have <laughs> a paint pen and then I have a light pink Sharpie. I need to get a new paint pen but I'm going to pack these in case I would, you know, go into labor before I could get the paint pin. But yeah, I'm going to put that like kind of behind her head. So that will be her little birth announcement. And then, let's see. I also, I'm a little extra, you guys. But if you know me, then you just know that already. <laughs> I got these really cute hats. And... I'm going to try and get up close. My camera shut off on me. But I got these cute little hats here with these little jewels. So I got these off of Amazon. And I had seen them on Etsy. And then my mom literally saw these on Amazon right after. So this came in a set of three for the same price as like one off of Etsy. And I wasn't exactly sure like what I would like which one I would want. So I thought it was a great idea. So I have these just, you know, she can wear with her sleepers or whatever. I know a lot of the times they make them a bow hat, like bow newborn hat, but you know, if they don't, I'll have it. But <laughs> I honestly got it because this is her coming home outfit. So it's just a monogrammed it is so bright. <laughs> this monogrammed sleeper. Oh my goodness. I don't know why it is so bright. There we go. This monogrammed sleeper here. So it has her initials on it and cute little ruffles. So that'll be her coming home outfit. And I thought that this little hat was cute with it. Maybe. There we go. And I also got this cute little sister bow from their Bella baby on 
Instagram. I'll leave their Instagram link down below. So I thought this would be cute because, you know, she'll be coming home to Ryder. So when we get home, I'll put this on her before she meets him. And then I also just packed, like, this big pink bow and then this cute little white bow because they went with some of the sleepers just in case I wanted her to have a bow on. So I think that's everything. Obviously, I'll be bringing her car seat. Um, it's just downstairs right now because I have it sitting on the table and yeah, I think that's it. I have a list of things that I have to grab, so I will tell you that as well just in case you know you're missing any of these. Okay, my camera just died. I swear between my ring light and my camera, I'm a mess right now, but like I was saying, I have... I had a post-it note on my bathroom mirror when I was pregnant with Ryder so that I would not forget anything whenever I was in labor. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I have a list on my phone as well because I made like a little checklist and I'll check these off when I put them on the post-it note or I might forget. So I have my flat iron, my contact case because you know, I'll have to take my contacts out in the hospital or if I go into labor in the middle of the night, then I'm going to need to grab it and put my contacts in before I leave. A comb. I don't have it packed right now because we only have two, one for Connor and one for me. So I need to remember to pack that. Um, my makeup, the phone chargers is in like you know, the box because I have a phone charger and then we'll need like a normal phone charger. And then my camera, of course, my camera charger and my extra battery. I have one extra battery, so that's all I'll have to worry about. And then, of course, my wallet that has, you know, my ID for insurance and all of that good stuff. So that is everything that I have packed or about to pack for my hospital bag and just everything I am bringing to the hospital. If I'm forgetting anything at all, let me know down in the comments. I might not have her by then. I'm not exactly sure. So we'll have to see. If not, then let me know in the comments and then people that watch this video will not forget themselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hearing what I have in my hospital bag. Hopefully it gave you some ideas if you're packing yours soon or anything like that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet already. I will be having baby stuff super duper soon and follow me over on Instagram so you don't miss any of the baby content over there too of course because I'll be posting tons of pictures of her hopefully tons of pictures of her and Ryder if Ryder will take them but I will see you guys in my next video bye everybody oh.